We have Haruna Mohammed. He is a Deputy General Secretary of the NPP. And in the studio, we have Sami Jemfi, of course, who speaks for uh, the NDC, National Communications uh, Director. Sami, good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> it's been tiring, huh? <laughs> That's the nature of the job. The campaign is taking its toll. It is clear that, I mean, it's not easy, huh? Not easy at all, but okay. um, all right. we make an impact, and that is what gives me joy. Great. Let me bring in Haruna Mohammed first of all, to share his thoughts on these developments, these claims made by the NDC. Haruna, good morning. Good morning, Benjamin. I hope you're well. It's good to have you join the conversation. Oh, um, I'm very well. All right. What do you make? I've seen some responses from the MPP on the back of the NDC's presser and the claims about uh, rigging the votes, uh, or at least the election, I should say. What is the reaction of the MPP? Um, thank you very much, uh, Benjamin. Uh, I first of all will say good morning to your cherished uh, viewers and my colleagues on the panel. Um, for us, uh, with regards to the presser that is made by the NDC, clearly tells us that the NDC um, clearly admits that they are losing this election and they are finding uh, every straw to hold on uh, so that they will be able to tell their supporters that this was the reason why they lost the elections. Um, in 2015-2016, they had made so many uh, statements, similar statements of us training people in uh, places that we want to uh, used to rig elections and eventually they went ahead to lose the elections and we are not interested in some of these particular uh, gimmicks. We are not playing games. We are making sure that we are working towards winning uh, elections. What we do know is that uh, military is not the electoral commission and if you have uh, issues with one individual of which Sami Jemfi has indicated it clearly um, in, in many of instances that he has made statements that when they come to power, they, will, they are going to deal with the security agencies. They will make sure that some of them, they will retire them and send them home. So I am not surprised that he comes out to make uh, this particular statement. It was completely a waste of Ghanaian people's time uh, right. yesterday to have come out. The elections are won at the police stations. And if they are so interested in playing the game, they should go down uh, to the grassroots and make sure that they get their votes. But I am very confident that mm. the MPP is going to win the elections. And no matter what uh, 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 lies and propaganda that is put out there, we are focused. And as I speak with you, I'm coming from Saboba. I've been there for some days now. And I think that um, the message is going down well with the people of Ghana. I have two quick follow-ups for you before Sweetie Abochi comes through. One, uh, <laughs> you suggest that, I mean, this is the stock in trade of the NDC and that they usually would do this. Uh, your side, the MPP has also, you know, claimed rigging, made rigging claims in the past. I don't know whether you were losing elections then. But more to the point, on the specific issue of um, not being interested in this matter, you said your party, the MPP, was not interested in, in this issue. It is a grave national security issue if there's any... Uh, rigging that happens. And to add to all of that, you have um, General Michael involved as well, Opoku, involved as, uh, or his name mentioned. Now, this is someone who, according to the short commission, was supposed to have been indicted for some of what happened. You're saying all of that is not a concern for your, your side? Um, when you made a statement, did you have any evidence that is watertight to be able to put um, the person that is mentioned? Did they give you any evidence to support that? He's going you to be giving that on this the morning. Today. No. He, uh, he'll be delivering that this morning. You My know. question. No, no, no. You're, you're you, addressing you, a different you know. point. You know. You're addressing you a different that. point. My question is you say you are not interested, and I'm asking. Would you not be interested in getting to the bottom of the matter? That is what interested I'm Interested in lies? We are not interested in propaganda, Benjamin. How can you tell it's we a lie? We are not interested in lies. We are not interested in propaganda. We are not interested in dishonesty. 
We are not interested in matters that cannot be proven over time. We cannot go on a fishing expedition. If you don't when investigate, how will you know whether it's true or not? Tangent. If you don't investigate, how will you know whether it's true or not? Investigate what? The person should give, bring evidence. If you go to the police today and report a matter, an investigator will have to be asked to go to get the, the, the issues that uh, uh, matters. The MVP is not an investigative body. We are a political party. We are stakeholders. And we know that the NDC, their stock in trade is to lie, is to do propaganda, is to be dishonest, is, 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 is to make sure that when they are unprepared and they know they are losing some of these things, these are the things that they do. We know them. They have made their posturing. We know what they have against the, the security of this country. The police have not been left out. The military have not been left out. Other security agencies have not been left out. They've indicated that when they come, they are going to dismantle some of these particular forces. They are coming out to talk about elections. Military is not in charge of elections. It is electoral commission that is in charge of elections. Police is in charge of uh, internal security. And if there is something that the military has to intervene, there is going to be a command instruction. That comes from the necessary hypothesis as to what is supposed to be done. Okay. When has please, the please. military has been used to rig elections? No, it is right. the NDC in this country that have used the uh, military to, or, to uh, conduct coup and then take over uh, uh, regimes. The MPP has not had any military uh, engagement in the past in the history of our governance system. So I don't think that we, we are much interested in lies. We are not interested in dishonesty. We are not interested in propaganda. We are not interested in unpreparedness to put this on the people. You can't play on the emotions of the people. All right, of Ghana. Hannah, thank you. Tell thank you. I think you're now repeating. And you're just it. repeating yourself. What I am interested in, sweetie, yeah. Please, is. I'm not repeating the, myself, the, Benjamin. The, I always the, have this issue with no, you. No, I think you've made the point. Oh, and and you you, just you seem just to be going back to the point. That's what I meant. I have an, a, a curious bit about the, the email short report and some of those developments. But yeah. let's, let's hear from the horse's own mouth. Yeah, now you've listened to Haruna, but I want, to, I want to make a case. Yesterday, four things stood out for me. You said that the appointment of um, Brigadier General, uh, what's his name again? Opoku. Michael Opoku. Michael Opoku is an, a promotion for leading the Ayawaso West Wagon by, ele um, by election violence. You say that he's been given explicit orders from President Ekufado to rig the elections, and he's training some NPP thugs. And then finally, there's, they're using his house as storage for weapons and election rigging materials. When asked for you to back these claims with evidence, you said, and when a person who chews crab says he'll chew calabash, you don't doubt that. You've listened to Haruna this morning. What is your case? And be as evidential as possible. Back these claims with facts for us. What's your argument? Well, I've not listened to anybody called Haruna this morning. Um, I was invited here for a one-on-one -on -one interview. I'm here to answer your question. Be, be, be um, respectful to the, the gentleman. I'm being very respectful. I'm but have you not heard to anybody? To him. But I'm, you just not, heard him speak. No, I, I didn't How hear can anybody. you say you've not listened to him? So was somebody speaking? No, no, I never heard no, 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 no. The only thing I've heard, Sammy Jemfi, don't do that. The only thing I've heard in the studio is the question you asked, and that is what I'm here for. Sammy Jemfi, answer your questions for the Jemfie. benefit of your audience out there. I didn't come here. Sammy, listen, Sammy listen, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't do this. I'm doing this it, it's for not, good it's, reason. It's not. I'm very doing this for. I'm doing. Either. I will do it for good reason because we must not reduce every matter in this country to MPP and DC debates. This issue is not about the NDC or the MPP. We have raised an issue about an individual. The individual is called Michael Koju Upuku. He has a telephone number. If that individual has a response, we will engage him. I will, who is this guy? He doesn't even know no. the man we are talking about here. Yeah. So Sam, let's Sam, deal Sam, with Sam, the no, issue. No, no, no. no, no, no when you do this, you play Sam into Jim, their Sam, hands Sam, and Jim you bastardize Jim. the issue. Okay. And that is not what I'm here for. Okay, you invited that, that, me that's here fine. That's fine. to engage me on a press conference with Sam, I, And that is what I, I will let you do I, that. I, but first, I, I, first, I refuse to hear first, anything aside first, from First, first acknowledge the person on the other side. And who? if you will not, but, but don't... Who is this guy? Who? What do you mean by who is this who? guy? I should acknowledge He's who? a Deputy General Secretary of the ah, MPP. Okay. You know him. Why well, you ask? I don't know him. I've not even heard of him before. He is a Deputy General Secretary. Well, of the thank MPP. you for the information. But Sammy, you know what? Before you answer the question, yes. the case you're making, it involves the NPP. You uh -huh. have stated categorically that the president uh -huh. has given explicit orders for them to rig the election in their favor. Uh -huh. It is only fair that we listen to what they have I'm to say. I'm not saying it's not fair that you listen yeah. to them. So, I am saying... Yeah. 
that we don't want to banter anybody who is not at the heart of the issues we have raised. At the heart of the issues we have raised is a man called Brigadier General Michael Kujo Upuku. Yes, yes, and it is not everybody in the MPP who may even be privy to these high level, you know, schemes of the party, okay, which is clearly in cahoots with these elements in the, in, in, in the military to rig the 2024 elections. You see, that I can say that as someone in your dance, you trust somebody for being near your dance. This matter is a very simple matter. 31st January 2019 was Ghana's, one of Ghana's days of shame. We all agree. It was one of the bloody, you know, days we have witnessed in the history of this country, where we saw the state, the government of the day, unleash so-called national security operatives, so-called operatives of the SWAT team at national security mm. on innocent civilians. We later identify some of these national security operatives to be known members of the MPP's vigilante groups. Uh, a, example, Dobbo, who was one of the leaders of the team, was identified as a known MPP hoodlum and bodyguard of Samia Wukudi, a former national organizer. And all these matters were established by the Elmi Short Commission that proved the matter. Now, what we saw at Ayawas was an eyesore. We saw innocent civilians unarmed, unprovoked, being shot at, being beaten, some were maimed in the process and all that. And we, as a party, have sworn that we will do all it takes to prevent the reoccurrence of Ayawaso West Wogon by election. Okay, so, 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 and so that is why that, that, that background we know. I want yeah, to, so get I'm, to I'm, the I'm, I'm, I'm making progress. Yeah, yeah, Poku, who yeah I'm making progress here. Yeah, I'm making right. progress here. Yeah. Mm. Now, it is this, at the time, Ken Lopoku, who was director of operations at National Security. Mm. And he himself confessed under oath to the Commission of Inquiry, which has the powers of a high court, mm. that he was responsible for those atrocities. Mm. He himself confessed. The commission also made adverse but findings. But he was taking, he was, he was accepting responsibility as commander, right? Yes. And, and what does he was mean? saying that yes. I accept responsibility because I was in charge. Yes. So if he was in charge, it means he was responsible for that. And even beyond that, the commission established at paragraph 3.4 of his report that he was the brain behind the atrocities. He had ultimate responsibility for what happened. At paragraph 3.4, this is what the Elmi Short Commission. And bear in mind that Elmi Short is not an NDC person, it's not Sami Genfi. Uh, the commission was not put in place or established by the NDC, but by Akufuado himself. And this is what they had to say about the man we are discussing. I quote, the commission recommends the reprimand of Colonel Mike Upuku for being ultimately responsible for the outcome of the SWAT operation at the La Baulishi School Police Station. His liability is further reinforced by his failure to properly define the mission for which the SWAT team was sent and ensuring that the SWAT team complied with the defined mission. Further, he failed to conduct an internal inquiry into identifying the culprits of the offense when revelations became rife that there were operational lapses resulting in violations of human rights. 3.5 goes on to say that it is further recommended that Kendall Opoku be made to immediately release the weapons used for, as well as the persons involved in the operation to enable ballistic testing and analysis to be undertaken for further investigations by the police. So this is open and shut. The man it, was It goes on in 3.6 to yep. give ultimate responsibility. The commission recommends that Mr. Brian A. Champong be reprimanded for his ultimate responsibility. Yes, as, as minister. minister. In, in authorizing an operation of, of that, that character, character on a day of an election in a built-up. I'm only bringing that in because then they lay ultimate blame at the doorstep of now Dr. Brian H. Exactly. But 3.4 is clear that the one who was ultimately responsible as well. So multiple people were ultimately responsible. Mm -hmm. Brian was one of them because mm -hmm. he was national security minister. And this Colonel Mike Opoku, now Brigadier General, General Mike, Mike Opoku. Opoku. Mm -hmm. The director of operations at the time 
was also found to be ultimately responsible. And in this case, they actually reinforce it with um, 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 findings of facts they made. Now we are saying that, and I've checked the white paper on this commission's report. This particular recommendation, the government was silent on. They didn't indicate whether they were accepting or rejecting. And so by operation of law, it will mean that that finding and recommendation stands. And you know that the Commission of Inquiry has the powers of a high court. Their recommendations or findings have a force of law. Now, how is it possible? You tell me. Put yourself in our shoes. That this man with this record, a man against whom these adverse findings have been made, never got reprimanded, but has rather been promoted to the position of Brigadier General. And yes, it is a promotion, because the rank of a colonel is lower and below the rank of a Brigadier General. And not just that, to add insult to injury, of all the soldiers in the Ghana Armed Forces, it is this man who was found worthy of the position of General Officer Commanding of the Central Command of the Ghana Armed Forces, based in Kumase, the capital of the Ashanti region, the MPP stronghold. An appointment given to him only this year, this election year, in July of 2024. How come? You want to tell us that those, this is a Those powers are open to the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. Of course. AKA but, uh, Mr. President. Yeah, and we have a right to criticize the exercise of that power and discretion is given. If that power and discretion to appoint persons into various positions is not exercised in the national interest, we have a right to criticize. And we are saying that this man is not worthy of this position. If, based on if, his if record. there were issues, don't you think the CDS would have, you know, this raised man, them? You don't know what has happened. Put your ears on the ground. This man is the shadow CDS of Akufuado. This man does not even there, have... There's a chief of defense staff. You're I'm saying telling you, the he, chief of defense staff is... He will not be able to is, talk is because of his oath of office. But this man is a Kufuado's hatchet man. Everybody in the military knows. He has no respect for the CDS because he himself has been promised that just like you implemented our Reagan plan for Iowa so West were gone by election through violence, do the same for us in 2024. And you'll be made a CDS. You can't substantiate what you're saying. I can substantiate and, and you're speaking it. against I the can person of Brigadier General I can, Michael Opoku I can substantiate with, it. without evidence. I said I can substantiate it. You, 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 because, can't, you can't. Hold on, hold on. Because when he implemented the MPP's Reagan plan for Iowa so West were gone by election, he was promoted. Two of us. The fact that he was promoted does not mean two these are the things we're saying. A, 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 a constitutionally uh -huh. mandated commission of inquiry recommended that he be reprimanded. Has he been reprimanded? He's not been reprimanded. He has rather been promoted so that, and rewarded that, that, with another position. That means that these things you're saying about his being a hatchet man, about his being called upon to rig the elections, you think that Listen, justifies Mazza, this? If he was not a hatchet man, when he was director of operations at national security, what happened? What happened? What happened during Ayawa West Wagon by election? What happened when a journalist who was critical of this government, the editor of Modern Ghana, what happened to him? Was he not the person who supervised the abduction of a journalist and the torture of a journalist? Have you soon forgotten? When he was there, what happened these, to your colleague, Kalim Kuda? These, this guy, there are, what happened? He, was he not the one that national security used to even take over a facility belonging to Ioko? Google him. Sami Genfi. We know he's talking These trade. things have happened, but these claims you are making now about rigging, and about his being a hatchet man must be detached from these conversations. My brother, you can't merely, you can't just lump all of them together. Which they, is why, they, they which are, is why, uh -huh. which is why, we here do not subscribe to what you're you don't saying. Even have to we are not that. giving credence to no, it. No, you don't even have to. You can withdraw that. if you want, Benjamin. But if you will not, Benjamin, then that is Benjamin. Happening. Benjamin, Benjamin, hold on, hold on. I take, I take a mm. serious exception to what you just said. We have done a press conference. Mm. You know the content. No, but of I'm saying that we here cannot individually you confirm were there, you, were, you were at a press conference, saying. you covered so it. You can it, was, it was broadcast but live on this we, platform. We so it is not now. I do and we don't need you to reinforce anything. Mm -hmm. We have put out the credible intelligence we have on this man. And we are saying that based on his record, we believe that intelligence. We are entitled to it. Mm. If you don't believe it, it is your own cup of tea. But any reasonable man listening to me, knowing mm -hmm. the record of this guy, and what he has been used for by Okufuado, not only in relation to the Ayawaso West Wagon by election, 
But even against journalists critical of this government who believe what we are saying. Sami, so, I want us to make progress here, right? I mentioned okay. four key things that came out of that press conference. You've established why you think that the promotion is a reward for what he did in Ayaso West Wagon. You've also made some, made some claims about using his house as storage for weapons. I just want you to give us the evidence to back these claims. Like when, you rightly when mentioned, is the evidence you, want, you want a picture in a video? Well, how did you well, come well, by this listen, information? How can about, we, as well, journalists, how can we verify? There's a trust but verify. You journalists, you journalists, listen, you How do we do that? You, I'm even surprised that you asked me this question because you journalists, per the actors of your profession, when you publish certain sensitive information, do you disclose your sources? <laughs> Are you allowed by the ethics of your profession okay. to disclose your sources? Answer me. We are not asking but, you to but disclose Answer me. We, we are, are talking to you about Sammy. intelligence, Sammy. and you are saying I should name my sources. Sammy, no, when did I give you your sources? That is why. She didn't say name. But if you tell me to give you evidence, what are you asking? But how can you, hold on, how hold can on. you make such a claim without backing? That is why. Because of ABC. That is why. This is what we've come up with. A political party has every right to share intelligence it receives if it has a tendency of undermining free and fair and peaceful elections in this country. We have shared the intelligence we have received, and we are saying we believe it based on the track record of this man. And beyond that, as a responsible political party, we are petitioning the IGP, who is the chairman of the Election Security Tax Force, we are petitioning the CDS to investigate these matters. And at that appropriate forum, if we are called in camera to discuss that with the powers that be, and we are convinced that they are genuinely interested in conducting credible investigations, we will share our intelligence with them. So, but so, no so, serious so. political party will come and sit in the studios of a television station and share intelligence about a, a commander of a whole battalion of the military. Who does that? So, so you're saying, you just mentioned in camera, you're saying that if there were some commission set up, or even if this matter were to go to court, you would oh, then be able to, to... No, 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 I'm just saying. I mean, he could take you on for whatever. Would, <laughs> as far you, as he is you, concerned. I will, I, I, I will relish that day. Mm. Maybe and, you should. And, and, and that, is, that is exactly what I'm saying. That over there, you would be willing to provide some of this evidence, right? Oh, I've told you. We are, going, we are very serious about this matter. This is not a matter that we intend to leave at the level of a press conference. Mm. Because... We know of the well-crafted scheme they have put in place. And look, nobody is making up anything. Everything we have said, this gentleman is even a gentleman. This man has done before. Everything we have said, if it's about training MPP vigilantes, he's done it before. Because he was the one okay. who trained double. Right. He was the one, those MPP, don't say right, those MPP vigilantes who were clothed in national security apparels and hooded to commit those atrocities, we saw at Iowa so West were gone. Who trained them? It was this man. He was their commander. Put that aside. We've spoken about arming MPP vigilantes and clothing them in military uniforms as his plan for 2024. Mm. Has he done that before or not? He's mm. done that before. It was under him as director of operations for national security that the, for, for the first time in history, we saw national security operatives in uniforms. Before him, had you seen some before? It was for the first time that we saw them in that khaki uniforms, in their boots, with masks, holding sophisticated weapons that, according to the short commission, should not have even been deployed for election purposes. It was under him. So we know him. He works with MPP vigilantes. He trains them. He clothes them in uniforms. He arms them to maim innocent people. He himself has taken responsibility for those atrocities. And adverse findings made against him by the short commission, for which reason he was recommended to be reprimanded. That finding has not been set aside. So anybody who defends such a man is a man bereft of conscience. His mere appointment is a scandal. It should not have even happened in the first place. In no serious jurisdiction will a man with such a credential or record be elevated to the position of brigadier general and be made the general officer commanding of Central Command in no country. You're a lawyer. You this know, guy is you, a danger you, and a threat to all of us. You know of the principle of you know, natural justice, which includes Saudi al Tehran party. Listen to the other side. Brigadier General Opoku is not here to defend himself, which is why we're posing some of these questions to you, including, so if push comes to shove, you can prove, based on your intelligence, that he housed these munitions 
in, just, in his outfit. Based on our intelligence house, and right? based on his record. That is it. His record. It is inextricably linked to this matter. Mm. His record. Let's, let's, Look, let's if, talk. Look, if I come to join News mm. and I come and steal your money from here, okay, and I am caught on camera, established to have stolen that money, and tomorrow I am taken to another studio of yours <laughs> where there is money and all that, it, it will be a legitimate call by every or any leg, uh, reasonable person to say that based on what this guy did here, we can put him here because this is what he did here when we had money. It's it, as simple as it, that. It's, it's also, it's also possible sense. that someone else could have stolen the money that time. But, but, but we are saying that he should not be put in that position in the first place mm. because he has proven to be a threat to free and fair elections. Tell me, I mean, I don't even see why we must debate this. If you were, you had a stake in this election, mm. okay, like a political party, would I have you, a stake as a citizen. A citizen. But and a voter. Exactly. Are you happy that a person who supervised, orchestrated, masterminded, the Ayawaso West Wagon by election mayhem has been given this critical position, which makes him an integral part of the election security architecture for Ashanti region and the other adjoining regions? Are you happy? You know what? I, I, I do want to understand you, Sami Jimfi. In fact, your issues with the Electoral Commission has been, show us that you are being transparent. Show us that you don't have plans to rig elections. Show us this. Show and tell. The whole, in fact, the whole game that really? we all play here is show and tell. When the, no, when, when I, some, I didn't quite get What I'm part. saying is, mm. you've accused the Electoral Commission so many times of attempting to rig or having plans to rig the elections in the favor of the NPP. Correct? Yes. And in some of these instances, You've called them out to say, prove it, that you are not in bed with the NPP. No, we've right. never done that. I'm no. just surprised that we're having this whole conversation. We spent up more than 20 minutes on this conversation, and you haven't yet proven one thing to say that because of this, this is why we say that this man is going to rig elections. And besides that, you're only saying that because of his track record. If somebody chews crab and says you, you chew calabash, you should believe him. I just want one fact, something that you can tell us, show and tell, that maybe I went to his house and I saw that in his storage, we saw the arms that we are talking about. Just one, and then we can move on from here. My brother. Otherwise, my, we are my, just my, speculating. My, my sister. You owe that to our I audience. Am, you are the only person who may not be aware that what we have put out is proof in and of itself. Just a press statement? You, you may be the only person who is not scandalized and appalled by the fact that a person with such a criminal record will be given such a position. But for me, from the feedback we have, we have received, even from the military, and here let me salute all our noble men and women in uniform who are working diligently to protect us. The feedback has been overwhelming. They are excited that the cover of this miscreant has been blown. They are excited that the issues have been laid bare in the media space and in the public space. So, you are entitled to your opinion, and we are also entitled to our opinion. But for us as a political party, we are scandalized that the person who was found to have implemented the Reagan plan of the MPP relative to the Ayawaso West Wagon by election, the man who commandeered and unleashed armed MPP vigilantes clothed in national security apparatus on innocent civilians maiming some in the process. Okay. We are scandalized Let's that that man has been made a general officer commanding for Central Command of the Ghana Armed Forces. Right. So and we are also, yeah. and we also, let me conclude, and we are also very satisfied with the credible intelligence we have received relative to similar plans he's making for the 2024 elections. We believe it because his record bears that out. And that is okay. why we have put out the information. I, I have and to, if he doubts us, he should right. take us on, and we will deal with him at that forum. Okay, we'll, we'll go to Haruna Mohammed shortly as we conclude the conversation. But, but just briefly on, on the Ashanti region. You, you specify the Ashanti region. It is crucial to this election. What exactly is your position on what this influence was planned to have in the Ashanti region. Well, and, and what is your next move? You say you're going to come up with more. What is your next move in dealing with this? Elections are just, what, about two weeks away. What's your next move? And then we go to Haruna Um First of all, your first question is, why Ashanti? Because the, the, the headquarters of the Central Command is Ashanti region. 
Kumasi to be precise. Mm. And that is, why, that is where this guy resides. Look, we know people he has spoken to, people he has told. That is why I said at the appropriate forum, the, the necessary, the basis of our intelligence will be laid bare. People he has openly told that he will kill NDC people like flies, like they did at the Iowa so West Wagon and Techima and South. We know. And those people last. As they stand ready to testify against him any day. I was about anytime. to ask exactly. But you see, that. the point is that, the point is that. Kumasi, By the way, are these military military officials you're speaking not, of? I, I, I'm not supposed to tell you that. Now the point why, is, why can't you tell me that? Because you you're don't, not mentioning names. Because when you're dealing with such sensitive stories, you mm. don't tell us your sources. It is for that same reason. You're that not I'm telling me. Tell you that. These are very the sensitive is, security. You are not giving matters. me security detail. You are not giving me titles, look, ranks. Look, you are just look, confirming for me. We will be petitioning the IGP. We'll be petitioning the chief of defense staff. We'll be petitioning um, the two four or say to two the second, the overlord of the Ashanti region. We'll be petitioning our developmental partners and all stakeholders in our electoral process, including the ECOWAS, including US government, the, 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 the British High Commission, and so on, to probe this matter. They have their own intelligence gathering system. And I'm sure that with their help, we'll be able to call this guy and his minions to order. But we are also putting in place the necessary precautionary measures so that we don't once again become victims to these um, 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 atrocities that Brigadier General Lopuku is known for. So, look, what we expect you, our friends in the media, the fourth estate of the realm, to do is to pick the short commission report and check what the report says about this man and ask the commander-in-chief of the Ghana Armed Forces, Akufuado, why he has not reprimanded him and has rather promoted him and has rather given him this position. That should be the starting point. That's Sami, we're, we're grateful for joining us this morning. Let me go to Haruna Mohammed. You've been in the wings, you've listened to quite a lot. What would be your thoughts for us, Haruna Mohammed? What are your responses? Huh, Benjamin, I, 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 I guess that should be Sami Jemfi. Hello, Benjamin. Haruna. Yes, I guess that should be Sami Jemfi, right? <laughs> yes, that is Sami Jemfi. <laughs> yes, um, I, I, I don't blame him. I blame sometimes some of these stories that when they go to lie and when they go to be dishonest, when they go to do propaganda, uh, they become topics for discussion. I heard him say that he doesn't know the person speaking and he used the word guy. Uh, uh, it's unfortunate. Uh, Haruna, because, Haruna, we yeah, pegged him, we uh, pegged Benjamin, him down, Benjamin, let me speak, we pegged let him me down on that point, point on your behalf. You don't need to spend the time going no, no, back but, there. But maybe, maybe because he doesn't know, if not for NDC, if not for NDC, nobody will give a public space to Sami GMP to be discussing national issues. I started public service work as far as 2005, close to 20 years now that I have worked in the public service. I have held management positions before this particular time. So Sami Jemfi is very small for me to have been having a national discussion with him. And I take serious exceptions. I've trained, I've trained his colleagues in the university. And he should be very mindful of his diction and choice of words. And that is what I want him to know. All right. I am not also surprised because he has run away from discussions with me on different platforms. And for him to have noticed that I was the one discussing the matter on this particular platform, I didn't know he was running the line. However, what national security expertise does he have, or any security expertise does he have to be discussing security matter concerning the, nas the nation as a whole, and which resides within the realms of politics that we cannot discuss with him. Sometimes we must position some of these people to understand that when you get the opportunity to speak on a multimedia platform, such as this platform, you must be very thankful and grateful that you, you have been chosen as a person, not Marina, because you are more intelligent than any other person. The, the I want to correct this character this to the substantive issue, please. No, we I have limited to the time to matter, But I, 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 I want him to understand that we have been given opportunity to well, speak well, maybe, for, maybe, not because... Maybe, maybe you have no, to know, Haruna, he, uh, Sami Demfi has even left. So all that you're saying, he's not even hearing it. 
But I don't care. They will tell him because uh, my line also cut. I I wasn't hearing, but I was told. Okay. I was right. told. Yes, my line dropped. I was told what he said. They will tell him. All right. All right. Can when we address the substantive this issue in about two yes, minutes? The substantive issue. When we get this opportunity, it's not because we are more intelligent than any other citizen in this country, but it's because of the positions that we are holding. That's why you are calling us. Is that not so, Benjamin? So, indeed. on the substantive matter, mm. like I said, we as a political party, we are not interested in violence. We are not perpetuating any act that is going to distract elections in this country. If the NDC has a chair because somebody is appointed, and if they don't have anything and what to do, they should not fear that somebody has been appointed into a position that the person legitimated as a citizen has the right to be appointed. What was the synopsis in Ayawasu? What, what, what started the whole thing? It is because the NDC had prepared hoodlums to go and cause trouble in that particular election. And when they went in there, the security met them with what happened. Yes, we agree. There was, there was, there was a commission that I've sat through. The commission has not banned him that he should not be appointed into any position. And I don't think that he's promoted because uh, he did what he did, uh, 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 what they, they, they perceive for him to have been done in the Iowa West uh, uh, constituency. We are here. I'm in Tamale. I'm currently in Yendi, coming from uh, uh, Saboba. They, have, they are in Tamale recruiting hoodlums, miscrants, to go and become agents in Ashanti region. Because they want to cause trouble, and this man will so be able see, to repel some trouble. of what Sami did. Some of what Sami Demfit said that we pegged them down on. You are doing the same. That the NBC is recruiting hoodlums to go and be their agents in the Ashanti region. Where is your proof? Benjamin, you see you how you, both of you political parties that are. they were they were Azoka boys being trained in Kumasi. Azoka is in Tamale. How do you have Azoka boys in Kumasi? How? You have heard in Obuasi where they were holding guns, guns, wielding guns, and they make public statements as to how they are going to kill people. You heard Akugan and Co. when they made the statement that they will marry the chief justice. They will maim people, they will kill people. You heard their former national chairman when they said that they will be kidnapping people here and there. Have you ever heard the MPP have a group holding guns publicly? in a video talking about causing mayhem in this country. Just tell me, have you ever heard, have you ever seen any video of MPP people holding guns, holding cutlasses, and then you see a video circulating of how they are going to cause mayhem in this election? Oh. We have never done so. But there are several videos of the NDC going around. But what we want to tell them is that if they are not ready to contest, they can simply withdraw just as they did in Iowa West Wagom election. All right. Because they withdraw from the election. Thank you, Haruna Mohammed. They are not Mohammed. ready for 2024. Nobody. That is Haruna Mohammed, Deputy General Secretary of uh, the NPP. He joined us for a conversation. He just made a point. I had to uh, just add this. If you look at the short commission's report, 3.4, the commission recommends the reprimand of Colonel Michael Poku for being ultimately responsible for the outcome of the SWAT operation or the SWAT operation. It goes on. So sometimes when you listen to both political actors and everything they have to say, you have to sift through both what Sami Jemfi said and what Haruna Mohammed is also saying. But we are taking a breather here. We will return after the break with more action. Do stay.